Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you very, very much. Before we jump into the sneakers, I want to say shouts to StockX for sponsoring this video. Every sneaker you see today is available on StockX right now. I'm sure most of you are familiar with StockX at this point. If you tune in regularly, then you know I've been buying sneakers from StockX for a very long time. A couple years back, I sold my entire collection. Some of you may remember that. And StockX is the place that I sold all of my unworn dead stock pairs. Quite simply, it's the best place to buy and sell verified authentic sneakers. And they have actually expanded over the last few years as well. So it's not just sneakers. There's trading cards, watches, streetwear, collectibles. I can jump on StockX and literally browse for an hour or two easily. I just get lost in the sauce, I love it. So make sure you go check them out. We will put a link in the description of this video. And again, every one of these sneakers is available on StockX. And with that said, I think it's time to dive in. Five sneakers every guy should own in 2020. Let's do it. Number one. First and foremost is the Air Jordan 4 Black Cement. Absolute classic. You can wear them essentially with anything. And I just think you got to have a pair of Jordan retros in the arsenal. Even if you don't have a bunch of them, and the Jordan 4 is a home run. It just is. This black and red colorway is my favorite. The black cement, you'll hear some people call them the bread. But you just can't go wrong with a Jordan 4. You can't. It's an absolute classic, like I said. It's like fine wine. This sneaker originally released in 1989, and in 2020, they're still dope. It's a timeless pair of sneakers. It's easy to be cool for a month, a year, even a few years, but 30 years, over 30 years and counting. That's legendary status. Now, we did customize this pair a little bit. Some of you may remember the DIY video that we did down here at the workshop. Buckets, who is behind the camera, him and I, we just very carefully painted the edges to give it more of that old school look. Either way though, the sneaker is fire. Number two, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra. Super change of pace right here. I know it's such a different look compared to the Jordan 4, but I love these. And again, this is the zebra colorway, but you can go look at different colorways when it comes to the 350 V2. I mean, they have done a lot of different 350 V2s. Buckets, how many pairs? Several. A lot. Several, several, several. But not only does the 350 V2 look good, it is Cozy Boy certified, super comfortable. Now I'm sure you can tell how beat my pair is. It is definitely time for a new pair for your boy. I have put endless miles on these. I wore them all over the world, literally. Different cities, different countries, different continents. We got geographical with it. And let me just say, if you do not have a pair of 350 V2s, you're missing out. Point blank period. It is a great sneaker and you are missing out. Number three is the Nike Air Max 90 Duck Camo. a new spin on a classic sneaker. It's one of my favorite releases of 2020 personally. It is a sneaker I've already worn a ton. It's the newest pair of the five on this list and certainly the loudest. If you'd prefer something more toned down, again, there are plenty of colorways, plenty of different options out there.
The Air Max 90 isn't quite as old as the Jordan 4, but it is definitely a classic, and they've been around for 30 years. Again, that is a long time. That's longevity right there, so you gotta respect it. There's also something about the infrared and duck camo on this pair in particular. I just love the contrast, I really dig them. And all the time when I wear these, I get compliments. I had an older woman come up to me in the grocery store the other day, maybe a few weeks ago, and she said, your sneakers are great. I was wearing these. So if you don't wanna take my word for it, take hers. She knows what she's talking about. Number four, one of my all-time favorites, the New Balance 990 V5 in gray. The V5 is the newest version. It's the latest 990 iteration. I just love the 990 in general. The 990 is one of my favorite New Balance models. It's awesome. And you can find them on StockX for super cheap. Some of the other pairs I've mentioned are a little bit more expensive, but these you can find for a great price. It's one of the most comfortable sneakers ever created. They're made in the USA. The quality is awesome. You know, you don't get that boost-like, super cushy feeling when you have them on foot. It's different, but for all day comfort, there's almost nothing like it. I would put this sneaker up against almost any other sneaker when it comes to all day comfort. And it's such a clean look too. It's definitely dad shoe vibes, no question about it, but you can really rock them any kind of way. So many different looks, worn by dads in Ohio and supermodels in London. That's the vibe. These are that good. Number five, last but not least, the Nike SB Dunk Low Para. And honestly, any colorway you like with any of these sneakers, I'm just mentioning the colorways that I wear a ton. But I encourage you to go look at the other colorways, right? I'm just giving you the sneaker model, the sneaker silhouette, and then you can go pick which colorway works for you. Some people like black and red sneakers. Some people like super loud stuff. Some people like toned down looks, earth tones, what have you. So you can go check it out and see for yourself which colorways resonate with you. This is the pair of Nike SBs that I've worn the most this year. And Nike SB hype is through the roof right now. I mean, if you tune in regularly, you've seen a bunch of Nike SBs recently, and most of them go for crazy resale prices. The Chunky Dunky, the Travis Scott, the Strange Love, the Ray Gun. There's been a bunch, but there are also pairs that fly under the radar and aren't nearly as expensive. You can go on StockX right now and type in Nike SB Dunk Low and filter the search for the lowest ask, and you'll see a bunch of great stuff pop up. The Ben G, the Hennessy, the J-Pack, Island Green Gum, even the Supremes. So the options are there, but I definitely think you gotta have a pair of Nike SB Dunk Lows in the rotation. You just gotta have that. That's, that's mandatory for 2020. And there you have it. Five sneakers every guy should own in 2020 because that's where we're at right now. All of these are strong enough sneakers to really be a staple and to really hold their own in your everyday rotation. Lots of different options out there, but these are the five sneakers. This is the five. This is the framework, the canvas, if you will. I'm now giving you the paintbrush and you can paint the masterpiece. Too dramatic? Probably. 
Sorry. All right. You get the point. Leave a comment below and let us know how do you feel about these five sneakers? Is there a pair that we left off the list? Is there a pair that doesn't deserve to be on the list? Keep in mind, we wanted some versatility, some variety. Variety is the spice of life after all. That's what a wise man once said. But let us know. What is the one sneaker, in your opinion, that every guy should own, should be in every guy's closet, on every guy's foot, or at least nearby, that he can put on his foot? Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place, right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. In the meantime, between time, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Mr. Fomer Simpson. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you, from behind the camera? No. Adios.